All right, so now that you've got your equation down, we're going to work on solving these problems. So what we're going to do is after we read the problem, we're going to set up a diagram. We're going to find our known values. We're going to go ahead and plug those values into our equation, solve, um, and then write out our answer with our units. So first off, I read the question. Um, I lift a physics book up three meters from the ground. It has a mass of 10 kilograms. How much potential energy does it have now? All right, <clears throat> so I draw my diagram. And here's me, all right. Um, the physics book starts from the ground, so I'll draw it starting there. And then I lift it up, so that's to three meters, all right. And the total height that it moves is from zero to three, so it moves, so three meters is the change in height. And you'll see why that's important later on. So now we go to plug in our values. So we've got potential energy. Um, we're looking for how much potential energy it has, so I don't know that yet. Um, M, so that's our mass. So up here it says it has a mass of 10 kilograms. So I'm gonna write 10 kilograms right here. Gravity, this doesn't say that we're on the moon or Jupiter, so I'm gonna assume it's on Earth. So that's 10 meters per second squared. All right, and then change in height. So we know we lifted it from the ground up to three meters above the ground, and so the change is three meters. So that's three meters. All right, so now that we have our known values, we're gonna go ahead and plug it into our equation. So we already have this equation, so it's PE equals MGH. All right, and let's see, so I'll rewrite that. Potential energy, or PE, equals, my mass was 10 kilograms, so I'll write that in there, 10 kg. And since I've got a whole bunch of different values here, I'm gonna put them in parentheses, so we know they're all multiplied together, um, but they're separated out. So 10 kilograms is my mass, and then we've got G for gravity, which we know is approximately 10 meters per second squared on Earth. Okay, put in parentheses. All right, and then we want our change in height, so that's gonna be three meters. All right, so we've got it all plugged in. Now we've just gotta solve for the answer, so I'm gonna rewrite this. So P E equals 10 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared, and then times three meters. Okay, so I'll multiply that one by one, so 10 times 10, so I'll rewrite this, P E equals, so that's 100, and then I still need to multiply it by times three, and so 100 times three, my potential energy right now, equals 300. And we talked about earlier that potential energy is measured in joules. So my answer with units, I'm going to write, so PE is equal to, or potential energy is equal to 300 joules, J-O-U-L-E-S. And that's it.